Number 15. Why are you here? When walking alone in the wilderness, you generally don't want to run into anyone at all, let alone someone perched in a place you'd least expect them. That's exactly what happened to this individual, whose footage was posted to YouTube in August of 2014. The person appears to be walking in a rather remote forested area. Ahead stands a blocked stone tunnel, and sitting atop the concrete is someone dressed in a white shirt facing the tunnel's interior. What are they doing there, and why? Reaching this depth of the forest, or that tunnel itself, are quite difficult tasks. The cameraman doesn't wait to find out, and probably rightly so. He backs away slowly, before turning around and moving quickly out of there. Some locals in the comments insist to never approach that area, saying, This is really serious. Never go. I gotta agree. Better safe than sorry. Number 14. Figure in the clouds. It's not unusual to try and make out figures in the clouds, but what happens when the figures are not just your imagination? This dark diamond-shaped figure floating over a body of water and below a curtain of clouds is not something your imagination conjured up. What do you see? Well, some in the comments of the video believe it's a Star Destroyer, a tear in the space-time continuum, or the monarch in the cocoon from Venture Brothers. Others take a more practical approach. It's called a water spout, Fisticuffs writes, and after reading up on the characteristics of a water spout, I must say I have to agree. Otherwise known as a non-supercell tornado, the funnel-like vortex occurring above a body of water in tropical or subtropical regions is often connected to clouds overhead. So as ominous as this figure may appear, it could be naturally occurring. Still, nevertheless, it will make you question everything. Number 13. Trying to get in. This security footage is from outside a center for training dogs in Mexico. As you can see, a masked man wants to cause some havoc as he wields an axe, but it is unknown why he chose this location as his target. The only thing standing in his way is a large metal fence. It looks like he is on the verge of leaving, possibly starting to second guess his idea, or maybe he was just trying to look scary on the security footage. But soon an employee approaches, presumably to see what the stranger is doing. It appears the masked assailant begins to target the employee instead, but this was a huge mistake. The employee rushes to his car and lets his dog out, who immediately goes after the man, regardless of his axe wielding. I guess this defense worked too well, because the employee has no choice but to pull the dog off of the man. I'm just happy the dog was alright, and I'm sure videos like this will make copycat creepy clowns think twice before pulling a prank like this. Number 12. Snapchat scare. Have you ever caught something creepy on video while using an app? That's what happened to these people who posted the footage to Reddit. Watch the window behind the girl. About four seconds into this clip, you'll spot exactly what scared her. At the beginning of the video, nothing can be seen silhouetted by the light from the window. But four seconds in, when the girl pans over the window again, this figure appears. What is that? It looks like the figure is walking around inside her apartment. While some think this is obviously a ghost, and others a gargoyle, some in the comments of the video are in fear for the girl's life. Viggy Poos writes, If it's not a ghost, it may be an intruder. Please call the police. Others believe that there's some more plausible explanations. Nikosaurus Rex, for instance, says that it looks like it could be some item stood up on a dresser or surface that she passes by. It does appear as though she's turning the corner while trying to avoid something near the hallway. So the explanation could very well be just that. The figure is rather something out of focus stood on a surface closer to the hallway. Whatever it is, I think we can all agree this video raises many questions while at the same time being incredibly creepy. Number 11. 
whatever this is. What you discover when out late at night can make your skin crawl. Posted to Reddit, the Redditor writes, People are saying it could be a skinwalker. The on-screen caption reads, Something weird is happening in my town. And after watching the video, you'll agree with that statement. The video begins with something hopping on all fours over a hill while roaring in an animalistic manner. It's hard to tell what the thing is at a distance, human or animal. The second clip in the series reads, Dude, something is in the shed at Desert Willow, and it certainly sounds like it. Something is beating against the barred doors of a shed at night. There's also a terrifying growling voice heard, though its words are inaudible. It's difficult to tell if the thing is human, but it continues to beat at the walls of the shed. Part 2 of the video series reads, Stay away from Dynamite Park. In it, barking, howling, and wailing are heard. It doesn't sound like a dog, nor does it sound human. Again, the video captures an unidentified creature at a distance, racing around on all fours. Could this be a skinwalker? Don't stick around to find out. Nevertheless, it appears some serious mysteries are taking place in that town. Number 10. Fake Eye According to YouTubers, most who've watched this video arrive there by typing in a random emoji into the search bar. That may be because the video shows a woman replacing her prosthetic eye. At the start of the video, the woman's eyes look nearly identical. The coloring is the exact same. In fact, I'd be surprised if you knew without reading the title that one of these eyes is fake, and I'd highly doubt that you could guess the real from the prosthetic. That's how good prosthetic eyes are in this day and age. But what happens next will make you question everything. The smiling woman holds open the bottom lid of her left eye, and after a little bit of finicking, the eye slides right out. All that remains is the eye socket. The woman then shows you her prosthetic, which is really just the front half of an eyeball. It is concave and empty behind. She replaces it in her eye by inserting it up behind her upper lid and then pulling her lower lid out to wrap around the bottom of the prosthetic. The eye is now back in place. She demonstrates its movement, and while it doesn't show as wide a range of circulation as a regular eye, it's certainly impressive what modern technology has done to improve visual prosthetics. Number 9. Flying Humanoid It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a humanoid figure in the sky. Posted by L. Nelson, Gonering in October of 2017. This mysterious humanoid was caught flying or floating over Sydney, Australia. The sighting lasted all of five minutes, with this figure disappearing and reappearing as the camera zooms in and out. What do you think this is? Is it explainable? Or could it be something not of this world? I've seen similar videos in the past, and they have never been explained either. Could this possibly be connected? I just know I'd question everything if I looked out my window and saw a floating human in the sky. Number 7. Spirit in the Ambulance What if you were trailing an ambulance and you saw this in the rear window? This terrifying ghoul was caught on camera by a vehicle following the ambulance. Apart from the spirit, there appears to be two human passengers in the back of the ambulance, likely EMTs, as the camera focuses in. The spirit's ghastly facial features appear for a moment before whoever's filming loses control of the camera, likely terrified about what they'd just seen. What would you do if you saw this in the back of an ambulance? It's probably safest to back off. Number 6. Light Anomaly Mysterious light anomalies are a thing of wonder, and this one is no different. Posted to very spooky videos by Gray is kind of okay. This insanely luminescent light anomaly was captured crossing the railroad tracks. The bright bluish light casts its glow on the ground below it as it twinkles, steadily crossing at a distance. As it arrives at the other side of the tracks, a street lamp above it sparks, as if the anomaly crossed some electrical wires, causing a burst of electricity. The light continues to rove at an even pace, heading towards the forest. Most in the comments of this video suggest that this is bad CGI. Others say this might be an example of ball lightning. 
There have been numerous accounts of ball lightning throughout history. The phenomenon refers to mysterious and potentially dangerous atmospheric electrical oddity. The spherical shapes of light can range from the size of a pea to a diameter of several meters, often associated with lightning storms. The lifespan of ball lightning is usually a lot longer than that of a lightning bolt. So what do you think? Is this anomaly simply CGI, good or bad? Or is it a natural phenomenon that just so happened to be caught on video? Whatever it is, it'll make you question everything. Number 5. CCTV Ghost Footage It's 2.10 AM. On September of 2015, this individual is fast asleep in their bed, as anyone might expect to be at such a late hour. Posted to YouTube by the Gender Uwo in April of 2019, the video shows a man tossing and turning in his sleep, normal restlessness. At one point, he pulls the covers up over his head. A short while later, he turns onto his side. All normal, but what's abnormal is the body shape that appears to be sleeping next to him. After rolling to his side, the man notices the unwelcome company under the covers. He starts feeling what looks to be a solid form beside him. Appearing startled, he gets out from under the covers, patting the blanket up and down, before pulling it clean off his bed. As you likely suspected, there is nothing beneath it. Further footage in the man's apartment shows a strange blurred shadow figure cross from a hallway to another room in the home. The same sort of shadow figure is seen again in the footage from another hallway in the apartment. What do you think? Is it time to move? Probably should, just in case. Don't know about you, but I'd do whatever was in my power to avoid sharing my bed with an unwelcome ghost. Number 4. Poor Moresby Spirit Beam Me Up Scotty Published to YouTube in June of 2019, this CCTV footage reveals a possible spirit captured on video in Port Moresby that same year. The footage shows an intersection that looks to be on the outskirts of the city, probably from restaurants or shops that are still open at night. Street lamps illuminate the roadway, blinking on and off as a truck turns at the crossroads. Then something strange and out of place appears. On one corner of a median, a ghostly glowing mist manifests before rising upwards and out of sight. On closer inspection, the small figure appears humanoid, glowing at its core. But what is it, and where did it go? Number 3. Old 2L Hospital Another structure that's prime real estate for a haunting? Hospitals. Posted to YouTube by Ogden Paranormal in September of 2019, the group of paranormal investigators explores Old 2L Hospital, one of Utah's most haunted places. Samuel Lee built the structure as a resident in 1873. His family lived there until 1913, after which it was remodeled into a home for the elderly and those with special needs. Some called it the County Poorhouse. The old 2L hospital closed down in 2000, with half of it serving as an elderly care unit, while the other half serves as Asylum 49. Although Anderson was skeptical about the site's paranormal activity at first, his research into the hospital prompted him and his wife to contact paranormal researchers to investigate the site in 2007. Upon exploring the building, the UGO, or Utah Ghost Organization, documented thousands of EVPs and captured pictures and video footage of mists, apparitions, shadows, orbs, and other seemingly paranormal activity. Now, the 2L Hospital is the scene of private ghost searches twice a year, from January to July. So what sort of spirits haunt this hospital? The nurse spirit, Maria, is said to guard a spiritual portal in the hospital that is believed to lead to another world. Another ghost that haunts the hospital goes by the name of Wes. This patient appears scared and confused, as it's said that the real Wes had Alzheimer's at the time of his passing. Ghost West haunts the room that he stayed when he was alive, as well as the nearby hallway. A medium tried to assist West in crossing over, but was hindered by some dark entity that always remains close by. With this background in mind, without further ado, let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Ogden writes, We've investigated here a few times in the past and captured incredible evidence, but our last visit scared us so bad that we ended up leaving early. 
Now we return to this location to face whoever or whatever ran us out of the building all those years ago. This time, the group's visit includes light anomalies, particularly the entire operating room lighting up and a strange light appearing in the nursery. Strange sounds are heard at 10 minutes 13 seconds and 10 minutes 15 seconds. Where you at, Wes? Where you at, Wes? And all the mannequins set up around the hospital don't help one bit. Creepiness is given an edge by those inert bodies. At around 17 minutes 37 seconds as well, it looks as if a foot appears on camera in the bottom left corner. Disembodied voices go unexplained. The entire video makes you wonder if this is Paranormal's resting place. Number 2. The Sheet As a parent, often you must keep your fear inside for the sake of your children. If you want to know how, take a master class from this dad, posted by Matt to World in February of 2016. The uploader writes in Spanish, a video that I took of a paranormal phenomenon that occurs in a neighborhood of Greater Buenos Aires. The video appears to show a father and son watching TV. The father apparently feels the urge to go check on something in the room next door. When he first looks in, apart from a strange sheet appearing to cover something in the middle of the floor, nothing seems abnormal. It also looks like two figures are asleep in opposite beds. He returns to his son, checks the bathroom and the kitchen, and swings back to the room where the light fixture is still swinging around. Then the sheet suddenly collapses. Apparently it was covering nothing. A nearby broom falls to the ground, and then someone in the bed moves. Somehow the father remains incredibly calm, as if this is an everyday occurrence, and from the sounds of it, it might be. In the comments, Matsu World suggests the man's calm reaction to the ghost was in order to not scare his son. Matt claims this is just one of the frightening anomalies that occurred to the family in this home. He also says they ended up moving, as they'd suffered enough. After seeing this single event, I don't think I'd stay in that house a moment longer. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. Vampiric Witch In January of this year, 2020, video footage of a purported witch atop a tree was caught in the Dominican Republic. According to local news, this was captured on a cell phone camera by a witness who was in his home when he recorded the event. Many people of San Juan believe the witches launch late into the night. The figure here at the top of the trees does look quite ominous, but what makes this video even creepier is the unexplained howling. Is the witch vampire making that noise? Could the howling be coming from somewhere else? <coughs> The sound is one matter, this figure is another. If not a witch, what is it? And what's it doing perched atop a tree? There's no way that's an easy climb. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!